away we go in the Hamilton Open women's pairs. Great Britain on the left and the Netherlands on the right. Yeah, so in the pairs race, when you go off at the start, you want your power to be level, you want the boat to go as straight as possible. If one side gives it slightly more, as you can see, both crews are actually drifting apart closer to the boy line. This is tricky, isn't it? The pairs are steered with a little rudder attached to the foot of one or other of the athletes, and so they have to course correct. And you can see, you know, in a pair, there's only one person on each side, so you really have to have that synchronicity. But they seem to have both recovered, both going wide, which is better than going narrow, I guess, and getting to clash together, but safely away now and onto the boom section of the course, the famous Henley wooden posts and booms, which are feared by athletes, but that make this kind of gladiatorial stadium even more intense here. Yeah, the booms are feared. That's why the rudder often leans away from, from the booms, because the, the, the rowers know that if they were to hit them, it's not just the vertical post, it's the horizontal post that you maybe might not be able to see if you're new to new to Rome and this is your first time seeing it. So the horizontal posts are the ones that the, ro the rowers worry about. So when they put their blades in, they won't go in the water, they'll just hit the booms. But it's a fairly convincing start here from the from the Dutch pair. Yeah, really looking quite good. And we, we, we do love the sort of Dutch style of rowing, which tends to be relaxed and fluid and has been for, for some decades now. And in the bow seat there, Lynn van Aardholt, only in her third year of rowing and went to the under 23 world championships in her second year of rowing that's pretty rare isn't it to be able to understand how to move the boat and be able to be as nimble as this in a pair after only uh, a couple of years of rowing pretty impressive in front of her uh, in this boat sits uh, Nortje Wilms as well a bit more experienced but both of them 22 years old and so far well they've moved out a little bit but then they've stuck and the pair on the far side are looking uh, strong I think Lindbergh and Witt looking strong so let's see how they settle So it's the pairs and it's neck and neck uh, on the far side of the British women on on this side we've got the Dutch women how do you make uh, what do you make of this Mo? Yeah University of London Imperial College maybe didn't have the best of starts but they are taking what looks like four five six inches per stroke and they're starting to move through this Dutch pair this Dutch pair have some pedigree they won the under 23 Duisburg regatta in the early part of the season which is always a a, a, a precursor for how this year is going to go. They look like they're going to go in the pair in, at the Under-23 World Championships. But this this British crew have definitely taken it back to them in, in this middle part through that transition phase which I always speak about, which is taking the start high speed onto your race pace. Well, you can see the shimmering heat of a sunny Henley afternoon. The wind was dropping this morning and now we've got a little bit of crosswind here, but really, really great conditions. And um, we're looking right, da right down the track, the umpire, Gwyn Batten untroubled, the flags stay in the bag as these two pairs stay nicely apart for this race. But they're still pretty much neck and neck at this point. And uh, you're, at this point, are you going to start asking yourself questions or you just manage to stay in the process and trust your training? How do you think about it? So a pairs race is slightly longer than the, the eights race that we've just watched. Um, a pairs race is longer, so therefore you have to be slightly more reserved and tactical. You have to manage your race strategy. You have to manage your power application. You don't want to spill all of your energy in the first half of the race because you need to transfer that through. And you can see here, both crews looking very relaxed. The Dutch crew is always going to have that relaxed style that Dutch crews have, but UL and, I, uh, and, and Imperial College are looking very good. Yeah, I mean, it is, um, it's a really great pairs race developing here, though, isn't it? We're about five or 600 metres in just past the barrier marker, and the Dutch, they've looked a little bit longer and a little bit smoother today, but I think the punchier style of... The, um, of the young women on this side is, uh, is, is also providing some speed for that boat as they come right past us. Let's have a look at the overlap. Well, yeah, it looks like they're moving through a bit. Yeah, it does. It looks like the uh, University of London Imperial College crew. Traditionally, two rivals are coming together. They wrote both row on the same stretch of water, one slightly further up, but the Dutch boat is looking like they're starting to make a move coming across as the UL boat has just slightly drifted into the middle. Yeah, we've had a little bit of a swirl here. The, the umpire does get her flag out of the bag and warns the um, the crew on the left, the University of London, Win Lindbergh and Witt uh, pair have had to move back out of the middle of the row, which is good for them. We've seen athletes yesterday and, and throughout this week most struggle with this sort of um, this pool, this swirl that we get in the middle of the, of the race where the river's a bit wide and there's a bit less shelter. And I think we've seen the same there. Yeah, you're more exposed here. And especially if it's slightly crossy, the steers person will have to just adjust their rudder slightly to make sure that they are 
you're trying to stay straight, but you're also at a slight angle. So it takes a real, real skill and real art. As this Dutch crew have definitely matched the UL, the crew from UL and Imperial, and they're going stroke for stroke at the moment as they come through to after Thames and Remnant. Yeah, just from the signal there, we could see the Dutch maybe have got half a boat length over the British women, over Emily and Elizabeth. Um, but no, they're moving again. They really are attacking. I love the way these women are fighting. Yeah, they're fighting to stay, in, stay into this event. And I can tell you what, this is going to be a really last, really hard last five, six hundred meters because both crews look like they are have had to expend a lot more than they previously would have planned for. Yeah, it's really, really hard, isn't it, Mo, when you have a hard fight right way through the middle of the race like this. And, well, it's been, a, I think, a response from the Dutch now. Uh, Lynn van Arnholt in the bow seat just calling to respond to that move and sitting in front of her. Uh, Nordke Wilms uh, responds to that call and they pushed on again. Elizabeth Witt in the stroke seat and Emily Lindbergh in the bow of the left-hand crew. They now have to consolidate and get ready to attack again. As the track starts to run out, we can see right the way down to the finish line there. What well, I'm really enjoying in this race is you can see a, a, a real contrast of styles. The Dutch look really loose and languid and all throughout the race, even when they were slightly down, they've looked very controlled and measured where the Imperial and UL crew look punchy, they look aggressive. Um, both crews and both coaches will probably say you need a little bit of, of both, but it, it's a real nice, and it shows you the there are many different ways to row a boat and make a boat move really fast. It's not just one style that every boat or every rower kind of trains towards. And you can really see it here that the, the crew from, from Britain are slightly more punchy, slightly more aggressive into the catch, whereas the Dutch crew are just a little bit looser and seem like they're getting both for getting equal reward here. Yeah, absolutely brilliant insight from uh, Mose Behe there, just talking about the different ways in which you can row a boat, and yet they're both moving at pretty much the same speed. Here we go, another attack. Look at this, absolutely huge pressure down on those legs as we coming into the last 500 metres of this race. We were looking there at the back of Emily Lindbergh at bow in front of her. Elizabeth Witt pushing on, attacking again and attacking again. They're really trying to move through the Dutch now. And there have been some amazing sprint finishes in the history of pairs rowing. Um, none more so than the 2000 Olympics where the French crew were slightly down. And then four or five hundred meters to go, they really upped it up. So I'm really excited to see what this sprint is going to be as they get through to the enclosure and they get the roar of the crowd. So Lynn van Arnholt and Nortkia Wilms in the, the distinctive stripes of Hollandia Rui Club from Netherlands on the left of the picture. They look a little bit more relaxed, but they're not relaxed in size. They really are under huge pressure from the British crew to their right. The afternoon sun at Henley Regattas bringing people to the banks to cheer them on. Here come Emily Lindbergh and Elizabeth Witt, the final frontier for them this race they've really got to go now and they are hammering it and it looks to me like they're moving through the dutch have to respond the dutch have to respond it looks like the british crew is just taken out to a length maybe just small overlap to the dutch crew and they're coming into the finish line this is sensational half a length advantage now for Limburg and Witt over the dutch the dutch have got time to respond there's 10 or 12 strokes left the British crew are coming across to the middle, the umpire's on her feet, hand on flag, but the British crew look to have broken the Dutch in the final 112 metres, that extra 112 metres that we give them here at Henley has allowed Emily Lindbergh, Elizabeth Witt to cross the line first, having been led almost all the way down the track. My goodness, what a sensational race. And Arnholt and Wilms, well, they had the race in their hands, but the last few metres lost it to the opposition. Uh, really well done by the, the crew from, from the Brit UL and Imperial College. Did a fantastic job, stayed aggressive, stayed long, and they've reaped the reward for the punish. Great maturity, punchy rowing from both crews. Absolutely brilliant pairs racing. Semi finals day here at Henley in the Hambledon pairs, the open women's pairs.